about to give them what they want. I don't think they're ready for this, though. Beast mode. 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 What's good, YouTube? You know who it is. Chris Jones representing Pump Chasers. All right, so guys, you already know. TigerFitness.com, got that Pump and Grind pre-workout. And let me tell you, all three flavors are incredible. You will not be disappointed. Enter Pump BCAs in my water jug or water bottle. And I'm about to get ready to fuck up some legs, guys. Now, what you're gonna notice is two things. One, I'm barefoot. As you guys know, I've been dealing with knee pain off and on for years. Uh, for this past three months or so, I can proudly say that my knees have been doing great, but one thing that's really helped me tremendously is working on my form, slowing down the negatives. We'll talk about that in another video, okay? Slowing down the negatives, takes a lot of stress off the tendons and the joints, and I've noticed I'm doing better barefoot. Now, I'm not telling everybody else to go barefoot, but I've been going barefoot lately. Not only do I feel the weight more in my feet, I feel more control of the weight because I'm literally planting into the ground. So yeah, working on my form and training barefoot has really helped my knees tremendously. So yeah, you're gonna notice I'm barefoot and you're gonna notice that my negatives are a lot more controlled. So enough talking guys. Let's go ahead and get warmed up. Fuck up these legs. You already know it's high volume. If you're not in the high volume, look, you ain't gotta fucking do it. I'm just sharing what I'm doing. I'm just sharing what I've been doing for years, okay? And trust me, if you get some high volume in your life, you can't help but see results, baby. Volume is king. All right, homies and homettes, you already know. Full routine written at the very bottom of the description for the ones that happen to give a fuck. So this is a high volume leg workout, all right? Now keep in mind, I don't consider these first three movements part of my workout. I consider them warm-ups. You know, getting the muscles engaged, getting the muscles nice and primed before the real workout begins. Get some hip ad adductor, and then I do some abductor. You know, having real strong abductors will support your glutes. A lot of people tend to cave their knees in forward on a squat because they have weak abductors, weak glutes. So I like to warm that area up as well. You know, warm up going in, warm the hips up going out, then do some leg extension for my, for my knees. You know, get some high rep leg extension for my knees. Get some knees warmed up and uh, get some blood in the quads, and then I begin the workout. Now, you're seeing me officially begin my workout. All right, so keep that in mind, all right? So we pyramided today. I did one plate, then uh, 185, then right there, 225, then I went 275, and then I went 315. You're about to see that in just a moment, too. Now, you notice, like I said earlier, Squatting barefoot, as you see, it feels more natural to me. I'm loving the way it feels. It just feels a little more natural to me to squat barefoot, the squat caveman style. And as you see, I got a two inch plate under my feet. You know, I try squat shoes. I don't know, for me, I can't speak for everybody else, but you know, um, they're okay. They're a nice piece of equipment, but I just like my, I, I like my feet being free. And that pad for me feels better than using squat shoes. All right, so I got the little pad, I'm barefoot, and I'm loving the way I'm able to hit depth. Knees are in a good position, and I'm feeling it right in the quads, right where I want it. So this right here is trap bar deads. They're really gonna help bring in those glutes, and a little thickness on the outside of the leg as well. I, when I come up and I squeeze, as I'm pulling my hips a little forward, you know, coming out of the hole, I can really feel the outside of my quads, you know, pumping up. So really good for that quad glute tie-in, you know, really bringing those details from the side. Speaking of bringing in details from the side, uh, make sure you're getting in some lunges or something like this right here, step-ups or some Bulgarian squats, you know, something single leg so you can really focus your mind on your footing and you can squeeze through your heels and mid-foot and really, really squeeze those glutes and uh, the muscles in the side of your leg. You know, one thing I've noticed for the one leg at a time stuff, it's more so about the technique than a weight. You know, going crazy heavy without thinking about the technique on single leg stuff can really affect your knees. So I noticed what really helped me bring out outer quad detail 
Make sure you focus on the form, your foot placing, really connecting with the ground, squeezing them out of quads, right, and that glute. So everything tie in nice and sharp when you lean. So as you see, one legged ham curls, and now I'm doing seated ham curls, and this right here is the final movement, doing some stiff legs. As you see, I'm coming down nice and slow, pausing and then coming back up. I'm not even going crazy heavy, just really focusing on those hamstrings. It's really hard to feel the, ab the hamstrings on this movement, the lower back can come in. So make sure you go nice and controlled to really feel it. And there it is, comment below guys. Let me know what you think. See you at the next video. Peace.